Well, President Obama now in the last overseas trip of his presidency, and Mr. Obama is today in Athens, Greece, working to reassure NATO allies about President-elect Trump's commitment to the core strategic relationship. This is one part, one item that came up at a news conference there just a short time ago. Kevin Cork is traveling with the president. He has more on that. Kevin? Hey, Jenna, good day to you, and good evening from Athens. And imagine this, your party loses, and then you have to get out there and carry water for the guy you didn't want to see win. That's essentially the situation facing President Obama, and this is his final trip to Europe as President of the United States of America. He's having to get out here and sell Donald Trump, in so much as he just wants to assure NATO allies in particular that they're not going to see everything change. The President telling the Greek people he will not, this country will not waver in its support of NATO, and he believes they'll stand by the Greeks who have obviously had to navigate a sustained financial crisis. He was also asked today about the surprising outcome of the recent U.S. election, and Mr. Obama said this. Did I recognize that there was anger or frustration uh, in the American population? Of course I did. People seem to think I did a real pretty good job. Uh, and so there is this mismatch, I think, between frustration and anger, perhaps the view of the American people was is that uh, you just need to shake things up. Shake things up, indeed they did. Meanwhile, tonight, Greek police have clashed with leftist supporters marching through central Athens. Uh, some would argue they are here to protest the president's visit. The police, by the way, have been blocking marchers from making their way over to where the president this evening is enjoying a bit of a state dinner with the president and the prime minister and other leaders here in Greece. In fact, as far as I can see, all the streets have been pretty much blocked off until very recently, Jenna, and we have not been able to see any trouble from this vantage point. But, of course, if I see any, I'll let you know. Jenna? We, we appreciate that. Any news uh, that's worthy? Kevin, I'm just curious. You've traveled a lot with the, this president, and this is his last, his final overseas yeah. trip. It's a very unique time for him, and I'm curious from your perspective if, if mm -hmm. there, there's a feeling of nostalgia, a change of tone. Um, any sort of observations you're making as you're traveling with the president for this last time? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I do sense a bit of nostalgia in this sense. I know he felt like, as president, and he still enjoys relative popularity, at least if you, uh, if you believe some of the uh, right track, wrong track, he's not doing so well. But if you believe overall approval ratings, he feels like back home he is still well regarded, even better regarded than the person who was running to replace him from the Democratic Party. That said, I think now he's beginning to look back at his time abroad and think very carefully about what he might have done if he had just a bit more time or maybe even better planning. Mm -hmm. But of course that's all uh, in the books now as he only has a few more weeks to go before he hands off the reins to the president-elect Donald Trump. We all know what hindsight Jenna? is like. Um, it must feel different as, as leader yeah, of the free right. world. <laughs> Kevin, thank you very much. We look forward mm -hmm. to your report. Thank you.